Hi, it's Johnny. This is the Who's That Girl reaction. Now, I'm not going to react to the whole movie. I just don't have time. What I'm going to do is watch a clip from it, watch the trailer, do the music video and the other three songs from the soundtrack that she performs. On Patreon, I'll do the whole lot. On YouTube, I'll definitely post my reaction to the music video and maybe something else. I thought I might recognise this, but I don't. Benita vibes. This film looks wacky. This must be a screwball comedy, yeah. I love her look in this video in, in the grey outfit. Nice. I like chord change. <laughs> I love this bit of this song. It's worth it for this bit. That was good, I really enjoyed that one. For someone that's like quite intense and sad sometimes, she's so good at projecting just innocence and joy and happiness. I kind of forget that sometimes. You know, you listen to like Live to Tell or some of the ballads of the 90s. And then you watch this and you think, wow, she could just be a proper pure pop star. It was so nice. It's not my favourite song of hers by a long way. I mean, the Light Up My Life bit, that bridge that they did again towards the end, was great. And there were a couple of nice key changes or chord changes or just you know the structure of it was quite nice i like the um the vibe of it it had that latin vibe a bit like a proto um like is Bonita, you know it's that that kind of thing i guess it's not one i'm going to be coming back to loads but there's enough hooks in there that i will come back to it a few times but it's just fun catchy innocent that's doing no one any harm there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing else i want to say about it to put it down <laughs> What is this bring a baby or something? Hey, baby. Hi, baby. 
lady, I don't know his name. I'm just delivering him. I'm on Murray the Tiger. There's only four left. It's not like there's another Murray. Am I right? Love that voice. Promise. Who are you? Okay, so based on that, this looks like a screwball comedy. Have you ever seen Bringing Up Baby, um, Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn, and I'm pretty sure in that one, they're driving around the lion or a tiger, which is, is called Baby. Is this anything to do with that? Is that a coincidence? But it's the same kind of film, it's the same kind of vibe. So 1987, screwball comedy by James Foley, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. She, uh, okay, I'm not going to read the plot to you, you know what it is, but, oh boy, budget 17 to 20 million dollars, box office 7.3, ouch. Tell me a little bit about her movie career. Desperately Seeking Susan is the one that I've really heard of. That's um, Rosanna Arquette, isn't it, and her. That looks good, actually. So if I was to pick one that I've heard of that I'd actually want to see, that's, that's probably the one. But there might be way more. I just don't know. Right, I don't know why I'm doing it this way, but let's watch the trailer. She's beautiful. She's impulsive. She's Madonna. <laughs> girl <laughs> okay okay shut up and take my money no i will watch it one day i promise i will watch that film one day this is growing on me already Great chorus, great chorus, I like this. Maybe more than Who's That Girl. Very delicate, great melody as well. There were a couple of lines she sang where it gave me flashbacks or flash forwards to like this used to be my playground or um, you'll see or something. The Who's That Girl tour is coming up in a few weeks. I'm going to do the Italian show. It's about an hour and 40. Looks very good quality. Can't wait for that at all. Thanks for watching this. Feedback, any more requests, just give me comments. That'd be nice to read. Thanks. Bye. That stuff just melts my heart. Good bridge, some backing vocals.